I think about dad and I think about dad's dad and what he used to cook. And I think about your dad mm -hmm. in our kitchen. You know, your dad was always talking about um, barley soup and canned venison. Right. And, and, you know, he was always catching a pike, right. bringing the pike in, and he would smoke the pike. That's because right. Because it has a, the pikes have a different bone structure. So he would always take that mm -hmm. and smoke it and That's he'd hand good. you a big chunk. That's oh, good. It's good. Delicious. So while Bill was here, uh, quite a while back, mm -hmm. and I think we did this for Kentucky Field. Now here's something I want you to pay attention to. This kitchen that you're looking at, this was probably 2005. Oh, when we first moved in. Same yeah. kitchen that we cook in in the house now. Right. And your hair was shorter, a my lot shorter. shorter. You shaved your head. <laughs> On a dare. My friend Tim Sloan, who has less hair than I do, That's I'll right. just put it that way. Okay. He said, Farmer, you you and your hair. And I said, I don't care about my hair. I'll, I'll shave it. He, he said, No, you want He bet me 20 bucks. He didn't remember it. So I shaved my hair. It looked for 20 cute. Bucks. I liked it. <laughs> so anyway, here's me and Wild Bill in our old kitchen in my shaved head. And I've got Wild Bill from Michigan over here, my father-in-law. <laughs> this is a barley recipe. Basically, cut your vegetables up. Depends on what kind of vegetables you like. It's a tomato-based soup, so I'm gonna pour our tomatoes in. I like to have a beef base bouillon. I'll use four or five cubes of that. Got some vegetables cut right here. This gives it a good taste. We'll put quite a bit of basil in there, according to your taste. You might like it, you might not. I like a lot of garlic, some fresh peppercorns here. My mother-in-law got me this. What we'll do is we'll get this cooking, get it boiling, get that nice smell going. In the end, we'll put anywhere from a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of the barley in there towards the end, and that gives it the nice texture. But the most important thing is this right here. Now you can, you, know, you, can have, you can open this up and have it for a snack. You can use it to make barbecue like you do, or you can put it in soup, which I really like. This is good meat here. I don't know what it is. That's a, that's a big dough I killed, a big fat dough I oh, killed. Oh, this is beautiful. Archery. I take the deer, which is not usually this nice. <laughs> it's got fat on it. It's got gristle, muscle. But I just cut it like this, and then I cut it in little squares, and then I just drop it in the jar. And I keep doing that. Now it's, I do this in February and January because up in Michigan in February and January, you can't do much. It's so cold, you can't ice fish. So all this stuff is in the freezer and I just start cutting it up when I have free time. And that isn't often because you married men know you don't have free time when you're married. So basically now we've done enough to have one jar. And then what I do is I pack it in real tight it is so good that we make it with barbecue sauce. We put it and mix it up. But our grandson, he eats it right out of the package. <laughs> but now what we do, we push this down, put some water in, which, and then we take and put the lid on. Okay. okay. And I'll take this over to the uh, pressure cooker, which is right here. Now I have the small pressure cooker here, which will take a pint. Put the water in the bottom of the pressure cooker, put the lid on, let it start steaming and then it starts jiggling. The little top jiggles here. And once it starts jiggling, you adjust your heat so it jiggles on a regular basis. And then you time it for one hour and 15 minutes, turn off the heat, let it cool for about two hours and you're done. It's delicious, really is. Tim tried it and I figured if Tim likes it, it's gotta be good. <laughs> hey, fish is next. You gotta figure the fish thing out. We wanna cancel Yeah, we can do that too. I've never done it. Wild Bill from Michigan's canned deer. You can't beat it. In a little while, we're gonna have some soup with that in it. Sounds good. All right. All right. Oh yeah. It's looking good. It's smelling good. I added the barley. Dropped a bay leaf in there for a little extra taste. Oh, it's smelling good. Now, the great thing about this is We've only been cook cooking this for maybe 45 minutes. Uh, we all like our vegetables with the, just a little bit firm. But normally your meat at this point would be still firm, too firm to eat. Then like we talked about earlier, look right here. Take this jar and you have this meat with a camel soup-like <laughs> consistency. Pour it in there. There's one jar, let's see if we need any more. And then look here. You just stir it in and break those pieces up. And again, they're just real soft. Break them up so you don't have any huge pieces. I'm gonna let that cook about another 10 minutes. And we're about to commence to eat some. 